Thoughts on the game, coach? <laughs> um, obviously, you know, not, again, just great resiliency by our guys. Uh, I thought, you know, defense came up big uh, in the second half. Um, you know, offensively, we've kind of found our rhythm there. Timmy played another great game. Um, you know, and I'm sure he'll tell you he's a little bit of a slow start, but I thought, you know, he did a great job in the second half. So, you know, I mean, it's great to come away with a win, a game like that. Uh, I thought the kids, you know, they fought their tails off. Um, you know, Albany played a heck of a game. Uh, those guys fought. They did a great job. So, um, you know, we got to play a little cleaner in the first half, but it was a great win. Come on, Timmy. Questions? Yeah, so you mentioned defense. Could you talk a bit more in detail uh, about you know your thoughts on defense, how it progressed, and some... Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, we, we did pretty well against the run, except for one, uh, two rushes. You know, the, the two touchdown runs um, Sibley had. And Sibley's a good back, he's a big cat. Um, you know, he's a scholarship kid at Pitt. So, with the exception of the long run and then the touchdown, I thought we did a really nice job against the run. Um, Kids fought, you know, we, we just got to do a better job of getting hats to the football and getting guys down. I thought we tackled a lot better than we did last week, you know, and I think, you know, they threw for 412. Um, you know, it's, it's frustrating because we have guys right there, the guys are fighting their tails off. We just, we're not doing a good enough job finishing uh, through the hands and, and getting balls out downfield. But um, those kids are fighting, they're competing their tails off. So uh, we'll keep working it and eventually it'll come. This kid, you know, the kid uh, Poffenbarger played a heck of a game. He could throw some balls in there that only his guys could get to. So, uh, so talk a bit about uh, the third quarter uh, after uh, halftime. What were some things you told your guys? Because uh, it wasn't looking great at first. <laughs> so, so how do you how do you get them back up after that? Uh geez, what did I say at halftime? I just said, you know, we're not playing our brand of football. I said, uh, you know, I think we're the more talented team, but we're not playing. Um, you know, the team that plays the best is going to win football games, and that wasn't us in the first half. They outplayed us, uh, certainly in, in at least two of the three phases. I thought special teams-wise, they did a pretty good job in the first half. But um, So I thought, you know, I said, you know, they outplayed us in the first half. If we want any shot, we got to play better for the next 30 minutes, and, and we were fortunate enough to do that. And in the third quarter, what are some specific things you saw that you felt could be the beginning of a, of a comeback? Well, obviously, we turned them over, uh, and then, uh, you know, we started clicking offensively. Um, you know, Timmy will probably admit to you that, you know, we were a little off in the first half, just kind of some overthrows, things like that. And we still played a really good half. And then in the third quarter, those throws started to, you know, find their home. And, and uh, you know, but we got to play cleaner up front, way too many holding penalties, um, too many PI penalties. So that was a little one-sided, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. And so entering this game maybe wasn't uh, expected to be this close. How did you prepare your team for this game? Uh, uh, we expected them all to be this close. Right. Yeah, I mean, Albany's a good team. CAA, they were 9-5, and five, you know, in 2019, the last full season they played. I mean, they, UNH is a good team. They played Monmouth tough. And, you know, these guys played UNH right down on the wire. And, uh, you know, they, they started out a little slow on offense in that game. But down the stretch, Sibley was running hard. And Poffenberg was making a lot of throws in that carried over till today. You know, the receivers played really well, I thought. And uh, defensively, uh, through the first 30 minutes, I mean, they really stood tall and gave us uh, gave us trouble. You know, we didn't really get the ground game going until the fourth quarter. So yeah. uh, they played a heck of a ball game. So in those final moments, who are you looking to? Who has all your confidence? You know, it's Timmy, obviously, but some other guys on the team that you're really counting on uh, in those close games. Yeah, I mean, Timmy, certainly. I mean, I, I think our, our whole receiving core uh, and, you know, Timmy's clearly confident in all those guys because he spread it around uh, again. Um, you know, the um, – and certainly our backs. You know, Juice and, uh, and Trey have been in, played in pretty big games and uh, they've played pretty well. Um, defensively, you know, obviously you believe in Ryan, you believe in Jimmy. You know, it's great to have Matt Jaworski back today. Um, you know, I thought Claudia Robinson played a really good game and, and uh, you know, we came up big. Stevie Williams came up big on a blitz there at the end. So. It was a good job. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Timmy, so 
some really close games that's important for players to have a certain mentality. What was going through your head? What's that close game mentality for you? Yeah, I think, you know, we love to be in those close games in offense. You have the ball and a chance to, you know, go down and win the game or whatever we need points. Then I love being in that situation. I trust all my guys. Offensive line played great. Receivers came up big. Foti, Garrett, all those guys made some big plays. So it's just doing my job, trying to give them the ball and let my running backs go to work too. All right. And in recent games, I mean, you're 3-0 now, but you've had some real shootouts out there. Uh, you're carrying a lot of load as the season progresses. What are you looking to improve in your game? What, what, what are you looking forward to? Yeah, you know, I think it's a good thing that, you know, we scored 48 points and we still, I feel like we had a pretty bad game offensively, at least for the first two and a half quarters. You know, if you look at the penalties and drive killers that we had, that hurt us. And then me, I thought I didn't play a good first half, like Coach said. I think I had a couple of Aaron throws, wasn't playing my game. And I think once it got settled and the whole offense got settled, you know, we, we played good when it mattered in the second half. All right. Um, and in those final moments, what, what gives you strength? What, what are you looking to personally to, to push yourself through that? I think it was trusting coaches, yeah. trusting my offensive line, trusting my receivers and backs. Offensive line played great. I'm proud of them towards the late of the game. Um, receivers came up big, obviously, and Trey got that go-ahead touchdown run. was huge. So it's just trusting my guys, trusting the coaches. But thank you. And for both of you all, it's a solid win streak right now. Uh, honestly, what do you think is propelling you, and do you think you can keep this up? I hope so. Uh, I think um, – Propelling us, I just think, you know, this team generally likes playing football with each other and we generally like playing football. Um, I think what will keep it up is if we clean up fundamentals. And uh, I think we're, we're, we're playing really hard right now, which is great, but we have to play smarter football than we're playing. Uh, we have to start faster, uh, be a little more consistent as a team. You know, it's kind of one or the other right now. And, uh, you know, he's got, if you want to be a championship ball club, you got to play complimentary football. So I think we have to do a better job playing that. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.